Hey guys, uh, so I just finished making the tutorial for this video, as you can see here, um, over here. These are all the different features. I can show you what it looks like. That's what the edge, the finished edge, is gonna look like. Anyhow, so I just finished doing that, and then I realized that my mic was on mute when I was recording this. So I didn't get any audio, so I'm going to have to record the whole thing over again. Um, but it's a shorter episode today, I mean, shorter tutorial or whatever today, so you don't, it's not, not that bad. Um, but yeah, it's still kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get into it. So what we're going to be doing today is, like you just saw, the edge. So I'm going to click on that, right click, and say hide other parts. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these little wings off of it. Um, so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use uh, replace face. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this face um, over to cut that face off. So this is the face which I'm getting rid of, and I'm getting rid of it with this face. Um, you can't do both this side and that side in the same move. Or in the same step because <clears throat> if you click on both that face and that face, um, it just it, it doesn't really understand it. Like you, you don't want to replace that face and that face with this plane. Anyhow, usually when you're doing stuff on Onshape, you try to do as um, many things as you can in one of these little um, uh, one of these little things or whatever you're supposed to call them, but. Uh, when you're doing replace face, you have to do it one at a time. Um, so I want to replace that one and replace it with that. There you go, that looks nice. Um, okay, so uh, the next thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to make this torpedo a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do that with move face and I'm going to select these faces. And instead of moving it that direction, I want to move it the opposite direction. And instead of five millimeters, just one millimeter will be good. That looks good. Um, nice. And then uh, after that, I'm going to uh, split this edge piece in half. Um, and the reason I'm going to do that is because all the stuff that you do on one side of the edge piece is the same as what you would do on the other side of the edge piece. So it just uh, sort of cuts the work in half. Um, so I'm going to use the plane tool to make a plane that goes through these three points. Um, make sure that three points is selected as plane type and then you select those two corners and that point over there. And then I'm going to split this. And then delete this side. And by the way, you can also um, just hitting plane twice to hide that. You could also make a sketch on that and then uh, extrude to get rid of that. But um, I just think it's a little bit easier to split the part in half and then delete the other half. Um, okay, so what are we going to do now? Um, I know. Um, we're going to add that little crescent shape that you usually have on the faces. So let me click on the top face just to bring this to view. And I'm going to use a three-point arc this time click once on this side, once on this side, and once over here. Make sure that the lines are highlighted when you're clicking over there. Anyhow, so uh, now I'm going to click on these two points and then use horizontal to keep them in line with each other, and then click uh, that arc and that point and press I to make them coincident. Um, now you can move this thing up and down to taste um, however you want it. Um, I sort of just like it like that. And then I'm going to just add a box here. doesn't really matter the shape. Just to give uh, an actual face that we can use to cut this with. So now that we have that face, I'm going to click extrude. And oh, my, I don't want that. I want, I want all of it. And I want to say, yeah, remove, like I said. And uh, instead of blind, 
I want to say up to face and I want to select this face. Come on. Come on. What's happening? Let's say. Um, let me edit this sketch. There you go. I'm not sure exactly what I did there, but um, hopefully it'll work this time. Um, so yeah, I, I said extrude and then clicked on sketch six, and let's see if it works this time. Up to face, that face. There you go. Um, and uh, what it's doing here is it's extruding it straight up to that face, like straight out. Um, let me see if I can get it so you can see that you see like straight down like that and what we want it to do is we want it to sort of go up like in that direction so the way I'm gonna do that is with a draft and I want the other direction and I think six degrees should be good yeah that looks good um, and you'll see these little areas here that don't look that nice um, but we can fix that with a delete face just click on that face there face there and it'll heal it up and yeah that looks good so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to fix this uh, little area here you'll notice it looks kind of strange but that's really easy to fix with a fillet so you just click on these two faces here and while we're at it oh actually that's a little bit large let's take that down to 0.5 that looks nice and while we're at it, we might as well fill it these edges here, just to sort of reduce the clutter. And this face here. And let's do the torpedo as well. Um, make sure not to do any of this face here, because this is the face that we're going to be um, mirroring it over when we copy this half over to the other half. Um, is there anything else? That looks pretty good. So we'll click check, check mark to finish that off. And um, let's fill it these edges here just to sort of round that off because when you're corner cutting you don't want there to be any anything sharp for it to catch on. Um, that looks good. Actually let's make that four yeah, that's better. And we can fill it the under edge of this. <laughs> we don't need that much. Let's try one millimeter. Yeah, that looks nice. Um, we could do a little bit less, but I think I'm going to keep it at one millimeter. And let's see, can we fill up this edge here? No? Oh, let's try half a, milli half a millimeter. No, it doesn't want to do that. Um, that's OK. Um, so yeah, this is pretty close to the finished product. Um, I think I'm going to make these edges a little bit nicer um, with the chamfer tool. Um, and the chamfer tool, by the way, is sort of the uh, counterpart of fillet, um, where fillet does it uh, so like round or cylindrically. Uh, chamfer just like makes a straight cut, so you can see it sort of like that. Um, and what you can do is you can go into equal distance, I mean into this um, little menu here, and you can make uh, two distances, and then you could do something like that, where it's angled in instead of being angled um, like at a 45 degree angle. And of course you can also do distance and angle, but I'm just going to keep it at uh, two distances. And uh, now that I have those spaces like that, I can fillet them Doo -doo. and the same thing on the other side let me actually just make sure I actually can do that um, so like 0.5 oh come on that looks good and do it to the 
this side. That looks good. Notice I didn't fill up this edge because that wasn't working, but that's okay. And let's try filleting this edge one last time. Let's see, is there anything to mess it up? Uh, that's kind of messy. Um, yeah, it doesn't want to fill up those edges. Maybe if we go back into the first one and we flip those edges as well. No, it doesn't want to do it there. Um, hmm. Let's try filleting it at an even smaller value. Maybe 0.25 will work. Ah, there you go. Just trying to round everything off. And that looks nice. Um, so yeah, the edge is, uh, is uh, a little bit quicker than the corner is. There's not as much stuff to do. Um, but that, that looks pretty good for half of an edge. Now that we're done with that half, we can use the mirror tool to mirror this part over uh, that face. And it finishes the edge nicely. Um, so let me show all the parts just to get everything into context. Um, I can hide the center actually because that hasn't been done yet. But other than that, these parts look pretty nice. Um, it's starting to look more like a speed cube than a bunch of blocks. Um, so yeah, that's. I think that's all for today's episode. I'll have more stuff in the next episode where we go on to the center and then I think I'll have uh, one more after that just finishing the cube off. So yeah guys that's uh, all for today today's video um, make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I come out with the next video and uh, yeah I hope you you learned something. I'll see you guys in the next video.